Is this the face of a girl that forgot that she was doing a workout this morning? Yes. Yes, it is. But I'm gonna look really cute for today's workout with me video. So every cloud before anyone shouts me, I did completely forget that I was doing this video this morning and just like started putting on a full face of makeup and halfway through I was like, I'm not taking this off. I'm not taking this off. I've got other stuff to do today. So I'm looking a little bit more glam than I usually would for the workout with me, but I feel like we'll just throw in that contrast. If you usually watch my workout with me and I normally look tired. <laughs> I'm gonna say tired. I thought I'd start off this morning's workout with me with the little outfit of the day because I don't feel like I do these enough. In my videos in general, I need to get back into doing outfit of the days, but I'm wearing my girlfriend sports top, which I love. I love the sports top. I think it's my favorite because it's actually, for me, I will wear like sports tops that are quite booby. Yeah, this one is probably one of my more like covered up ones. I actually really like the fact that it comes down quite low on me. Obviously my body is shorter than average. So I would say on most people it would be maybe here but it depends on the size of your boobs as well so when my boobs are bigger it definitely like it is quite stretchy but it all kind of rides up slightly i think to about there but i think it's a great sports top it's not a running sports top if you're going to run you need to have something underneath i have my h&m sports bra i'm not going to wear today because i'm not doing anything high impact and it also is cutting in here and i've just put tan on this morning so i'm not having any more marks L literally i've just about got them to heal on my chest and thank you so much for all of your recommendations on sports bras because i definitely will be taking those on board there were some really great suggestions and of you were saying the same thing so super super happy about that but anyway then my shorts are from new in i really love these they're a very suzy color that kind of like nudie cool toned nude color i would love these in all different shades of nude i think i would wear them so so much i love these as well because they're almost like a cycle short underneath but then you've got the more floaty short over the top and i just really like that in terms of like you're quite covered so if it's like windy and you're running nothing is on show and i just think that that's an amazing design that i haven't really seen admittedly i don't spend a ton of time looking at active wear it's one of the things that i probably spend the least time looking at but i haven't seen anything like this at the moment and i really like it and i just love the color of it as well i guess this is probably a common design but i haven't seen anything in this color and this is like my color palette I love the black contrast trim and it has pockets. I have little black shorts from them as well, which are like um, cycle shorts, but really, really short. And last night when I was wearing them, I actually realized they have a pocket down the side as well. So yeah, really, really like their active wear. And I have nothing on my feet today. Like I said, I'm not doing anything high impact. And that is because your girl has hurt her ankle. I actually think it might be shin splints, but just quite severe. Basically, my shins are always a little bit funny as it is. And this week I've run a lot. I've been skipping. Spoiler alert, that is a big part of my routine now. But my legs can normally handle that as long as it's just one of those things a day. But what I did on, I can't remember what day it was, like a couple of days ago, I did my skipping in the morning and then had a shoot in the evening. And for my shoots, I tiptoe. And it's always been the way for like the past, say three years, since I've started exercising, my legs don't get tired when I tiptoe for shoots or when I'm just trying to like, balance in a certain way but because like five years ago when I didn't work out at all they would just get really tired and I just be like oh my god I need to sit down now I don't get tired I don't get fatigued but I think it puts too much strain on my ankles and my shins because I can hold the poses for so much longer now oh my god it's so hot today I actually just stopped moving for five minutes and realized how hot it is but yeah so basically I always end up having shin splints in my legs not after I've run but after I've been quite active over a week and then done a shoot where I'm like on my tiptoes so if you want a low impact workout or a kind of apartment friendly workout this is going to be it for you normally I would do a little bit of like jumping I do like squat jumps with weights and things like that on my mat but I'm going to try and avoid doing that today unless I feel like my legs can take it but I'm going to try and stick with the not doing high impact because I just know it would be best for me it is hot today as well so I'm really glad that I'm not actually doing any cardio because I already have a sweat stash. See, that's gonna be even nicer working out in my kitchen, which is even warmer than my bedroom. I might have to crack the Dyson fan out because I got it out for Ryan last night to, for him to have next to his bed, but I think I'm gonna need it in here. I um, did a, what day did I do a run? I think it was Tuesday and I was running along the beach, which is normally quite windy and gives you a bit of a breeze. And I still like got to almost like the end of my run. I had to stop slightly early because the sun was coming down on me, but I was also like internally hot and I was like, I'm not gonna make it the last like three meters. I just couldn't, so yeah. Low intensity all the way right now. Fan is needed, fan is needed. <laughs> I'm actually sweating so bad. <laughs> this is not good. Come on baby, this is not a spawn. <laughs> this is not a spawn. I bought this with my own money years ago. I usually buy it because I normally have people that work for me and they like to actually be cool when they're working. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> 
This morning I have polished off an iced Nutella latte, courtesy of Chef Ryan. I've got my water over here. I think after my workout I'm going to make a smoothie as well, so I'll talk you through that because that's been my favourite thing to kind of have around lunchtime. But yeah, I'm going to film my workout now and I'll kind of try and put on the screen what I'm doing and I will link to the Instagram accounts that I take in so from because I'm obviously not a PT. I feel like I need to say this in every video and I don't want anyone injuring themselves on my account so I would definitely go and in addition to kind of watching this and watching what I do go and watch theirs to make sure that your form is right. I'll link my previous workout with me video because I've kind of talked about the importance of like keeping your core tight when you are doing pretty much everything workout wise whether it's like legs or arms like having your core really tense this is like this is me normally, low key. And then tense your core, keep that really tight and whatever I do whether it's arms or legs <laughs> I don't know why I need to demonstrate this but there we go it tends to keep me steadier and then it really works out the muscle that you're actually trying to work out because sometimes I find if I move my arms my whole body will move to support that movement and you don't end up working out exactly the bit that workout is meant to do if that makes sense so I'll link previous workout with me so that you can kind of see but yeah definitely check out the accounts that I link in the info box below because these women are amazing when it comes to home workouts like i just love their accounts so much i feel like today's might be steph's as the majority and i love her she is the sweetest human being in addition to being like the hottest person i've ever seen and the most insanely fit and she does really great workouts as well that actually feel like you can do them and that's why i love her so i'm gonna link her in the info box below yeah i'm gonna get on with it everything will be linked in the info box that I use and you can always sub things like you could use wine bottles instead of those I'm pretty sure wine bottles actually weigh more yeah I'm gonna link it all below
I'm dead. That has actually really killed me. Sod's law, it's like cloudy now and really cool, but I was sweating, like sweating, and I don't normally get that sweaty when I work out, so I am definitely gonna have to have a shower now, which is really annoying because I put my tan on, which was wishful thinking, really, putting tan on, but I did want to let it like develop a little bit. I put it on really early this morning, so it has developed a tiny bit because I kind of just wanted to be a bit more tan for this video because I hate like workout wear. Like, I just never think it's like as cute as my actual clothes, so I like to be a little bit more tan just so when I watch the edit back I feel a little bit better about myself but yeah that was a killer I did it, everything in three rounds hopefully I will have put on the screen what I did it was an actual killer but I resisted the urge to do anything like that was impactful on my legs and they're actually feeling much much better this morning so I think I have Nala here with me now and I'll be able to take her for a walk later today so hopefully I'll get my 10,000 steps in which will be great hello would you like to go for a walk today would you mm-hmm no, she probably actually wouldn't. She's the laziest dog in the world. She needs a little bit more exercise. You're going to do a workout with me, yeah? She feels very heavy when I pick her up now. So yeah, lots of walks this weekend, yes? You can still have treats. It's okay. <laughs> Literally the sweetest dog in the world. Look at her. Yeah, so I think today is going to be just like a low impact day in terms of like my cardio so i'll just do a walk and i'll try and i try and aim for 10,000 steps a day whether i'm running or walking and if i'm not doing either of those things then at the moment i'm skipping hopefully i'll be able to insert some footage of me skipping just to <laughs> illustrate i know you all know what skipping looks like but Hopefully I've got a clip of me skipping from before I botched my legs up. But I'm loving that at the moment because it's just a really quick way to kind of burn some energy. And I like to kind of pop that in as part of like a circuit with my mat workout. Sometimes I do a hit workout basically where I do kind of like X amount of jumps at a time and then rest and X amount and then rest and X amount and then rest. A bit like you would if you were on like a treadmill or a bike or anything like that. But I do it skipping in my garden. I'm hoping I'll be able to do it in the kitchen in the winter. If I put my old grocery yoga mat down that I don't like, I'm not too particular on this floor anyway, so I don't really mind if this floor gets botched up because I'm definitely gonna redo it, it's horrible. Like when you hoover it, it like comes away from the floor. I'm not too bothered about whether it gets ruined, but I will put a yoga mat down, but hopefully it will be like a sustainable activity for me in the winter as well, because that would be goals when I can't get out to run or walk, like doing a long walk when it's like peeing it down my brain, it's not ideal. So I'm hoping it's something that I continue into the winter. And I'll show you my, skipping rope because i actually got one that like counts how many you've done and in time which you guys will know if you have watched me for any length of time i'm quite motivated by numbers basically like i really like to know when i've walked i like to i started off with my health app by measuring steps but now i actually look at like the distance and i'll track the distance that i've done especially if i'm running because i don't have an apple watch yet i think i'm gonna get one for my birthday but i track the distance that i do and i also track the time so that i can kind of try and have a personal best type of thing. I'm one of those people. But yeah, it tracks the amount you've done, the time you've done it in, but it also tracks your calories as well. Um, I try not to look at that too much, but yeah, I can do like 50 in a row now. Whereas when I first started, I was literally doing two, five. Like it was really, really poor because obviously I literally hadn't skipped in such a long time. I do it on the grass in my garden as well because then it's a lot more low impact on my feet. And I always wear my trainers and like my actual like cushioned trainers to try and support as well but yeah that is what i've been doing on my in-between days i actually have more rest days now than ever before and it's really really lovely i actually think it's been doing me so much good to have like more intense days where i kind of do more in a shorter amount of time and try and make my workouts really efficient because i'm not dragging it out i really really go for it today was not a great example of that because i actually did need to break when i stopped filming i actually had like a 10 15 minute break before i did my last round of everything and i went onto the kkw beauty website ordered myself some bits because i was just like i really can't do this it's too hot but normally i kind of blitz everything and i've been eating much healthier as well i found i would say i like do a high intensity workout maybe two three times a week and the rest of the week i just try and be really like well active but i actually do have whole days now where like at the start of lockdown i was trying to do like a 5k walk like every single day and it was doable because it was low intensity it was just a walk it wasn't a run so really really like nice and gentle on my body and it was sustainable but i actually have found my body looks a little different and I would say a little bit better in my opinion with just working out slightly less and giving myself those rest days that's been really nice so I maybe do like kind of around 5,000 steps on an average day where I'm like moderately active it is annoying me because it's brought my average 
steps per day down and my average distance per day down but I'm just ignoring that this is why the health app is really bad for me because I love like improving but yeah that's kind of how things are working out at the moment so it's kind of a mat work mat, a mat workout two to three times a week I would say I do skipping maybe about twice a week and my runs I try and do as often as I can but I try and be quite conscious of like the fact that I don't think running for my body is particularly st sustainable so I mix it with walking and I just kind of do what I can so that has pretty much been it for my workout routine lately but I definitely think the skipping has massively helped because I burn quite a lot of energy in a small frame time frame so it's much more efficient and skipping is so good for you like it works out your whole body I got this off Amazon so I'll link it in the info box but yeah now I need to have a shower I think so I just want to get weirdly I need to clean my house but I want to be clean before I clean my house because I don't know. I know I should probably do it the other way around, but I don't want to, I feel sticky. I also made this yesterday and I'm so excited. I know you shouldn't really keep cake in the fridge, but it's been so hot. I just felt a bit weird about having it out. This guys is a vegan lemon drizzle cake made by myself. Ryan had a bit for breakfast this morning. That was not me. It looked slightly better yesterday when it was whole. I think I have a clip of it. I'll insert it. But I think I'm going to try a bit. I tried a little bit this morning, but I'm going to try like a whole chunk today. And if it gets the green light from me, I will probably make another one maybe at the weekend. And I'll show you guys how I did it. Yeah, I think I am going to shower, change, because I just feel so sticky right now. And then I'm gonna to chat to you quickly about my weight loss because a lot of you have been asking me to talk about this and I just wanted to sit down and have a chat. So I'll be back with you in a few minutes. I've changed, I'm in a white floaty dress just whilst my tan is kind of like drying. It dries really quickly, but I just don't wanna like put anything on it straight away. I am super hungry. So before I chat with you, I'm actually gonna make myself a smoothie because you know when you are so hungry that you just can't think straight, like it feels like my stomach is like eating itself, so. I'm gonna make a smoothie. So I've got blueberries, kale, some protein powder. This is like vanilla flavor and it's actually really nice. Almond milk. Oh, and then some porridge oats to fill it out. Normally we have bananas as well, but we have run out, which is so sad. And I don't even have an avocado. Sometimes I substitute because avocados are like a similar consistency once you blend them and they help thicken things. But I normally like a banana or an avocado to thicken. come to the conclusion that I will never be as good as Ryan at making these but it's a good enough lunch and the thing I really love about having a smoothie as a lunch is really hmm, I don't know what the word is sad I don't know I can work and drink at the same time I can't work and eat at the same time so when I'm like doing my emails from my laptop and anything on my laptop in general I can sit and literally like <laughs> use the straw Hello, I'm sitting down, I've had my lunch. I'm feeling a little bit less crazy. Does anyone else get really crazy when they're like super hungry? Because I do, it's not cute. I even feel like now I'm still struggling to kind of like formulate a sentence, but I'm also nervous because I wanted to talk to you about my weight loss, which is something that I've never really, I don't think I've ever put in the title of a video, even like my previous fitness routines, but I'm going to do that this time because I think that it is searched for and people DM me literally i can't tell you how many dms i get every single day I'm saying i can't find anything about your weight loss can you talk to me about your weight loss how did you lose so much weight and i do get really fearful that in talking about my weight loss it might be triggering for some people so that is why even when i get dms that person might not tell me that they have an eating disorder they might not know themselves that they have an eating disorder so even when i receive dms i don't even like to reply privately about anything or answer any questions too directly because i don't want to be fueling 
that. And so that is why this chat is so difficult for me because I understand there are some of you that wanna know about my weight loss and there are some of you that really don't wanna know about my weight loss. You don't even wanna see my what I eat in a day is because they aren't good for you and I totally respect that. And so that is why I wanna start this chat off as this is not a weight loss program that I am going to talk to you about. This is not how to lose weight. So if you are here for how to lose weight, I know on a video titled talking about my weight loss, this is not going to be the video for you. How I lost weight is by loving, loving exercise in varying forms. And that's not exercise in every form. I hate spin, hate cycling. Don't like bikes of any kind. Like they could disappear off the face of the planet and I would not care. I don't like sports. I don't really like swimming. I don't like water. I'm a beach baby, but not a water baby in any way. So exercise that you love. I love low intensity cardio. That is, it's super sustainable for me. Super, super easy. It's free. Like there is nothing better for me than walking. And I know a lot of people find it super boring. My friend Brooke actually walks and reads books at the same time. I don't know how she does it. I don't recommend. <laughs> In the interest of health and safety, I don't recommend. I've got friends that listen to podcasts. I've got friends that listen to music. I personally love listening to music and kind of going off into my own, own little world. And I can do that in a gym, on a treadmill. But more recently, I've obviously been doing that outside. I do like the element of like control you have in a treadmill and the logging of like your distance. And that's why I really like running as well, because I like seeing if my time is improving or I can go a little bit further. But my body generally doesn't respond as well to running long term. So I'm trying to like balance that. And that is what I would say the past two years have really been everything being well balanced so I don't deprive myself of anything I would say the only time I would really do that if I, is if I know I want to look so great and I don't want to wake up one day with a face like filled with like salty food you know where you eat something really salty and you're like eyes are all puffy if I've got like something important for work I will eat healthier if I've got a big shoot I will eat healthier in the week before and make sure that I feel like my 100% best because when I look after myself I feel mentally really great and for me it's not like a long-term thing that's like a little short-term thing but long-term balance is so important moderation is so important and I think because I after a while managed to nail that that's why I'm seeing very positive changes at the moment the start of 2018 was very minimal change really in terms of my diet it was just eating foods that I enjoyed versus foods that me and someone else semi enjoyed because our diets and what we preferred was very, very different. So that was just me getting back into liking food, still hated cooking, I hated cooking so much, still hate cooking to be honest, but I really got into going to the gym and that was something that didn't really exist before beyond going to see my friend who was a PT and that helped me massively when I was suffering with anxiety because it got me out of the house and into a safe environment where I felt comfortable because it was one-on-one -on -one in a private studio. That was fab and it taught me all of the basics about your form and how to do things right and just gave me this really good base knowledge of fitness so that when 2018 hit I could go into a gym and I could do all my cardio and I could also do my weights without feeling concerned that I was doing the wrong thing. Like I've never really experienced that in the way that I know so many of you feel, I know because you DM me, that sometimes you feel that way because you're really fresh to a gym and lots of gyms by the way do free PT initiations. So I would 100% always take them up on that. It's so worth doing because even just saying like, I'd really like to learn how to do things, but also can you watch my form and just make sure that I'm doing everything right so that going forward when I'm on my own, I know the things to check for and the things to like really make sure that I'm kind of like keeping an eye on. 2018 was pretty much just about getting into a routine and it was very, very slow. So to begin with, it was once a week and then it was both days on the weekend. And then it was, oh, I'm just gonna do a few days in the week and the weekends and then it was like i'm gonna go every morning because it's fun and my assistant used to come with me and we both go to the gym and then we go to work just getting into that routine of exercising very very regularly was so good for me i do think towards the end i got a little bit too obsessed and there would be days where i'd like maybe be a bit ill and still try and like go to the gym and exercise which i do not do anymore i do not push myself if i'm feeling unwell and i've learned my lesson with that because you stay ill for so much longer and it's just not good for you it doesn't help in terms of how your body looks there is no benefit to it in any way so 2019 i definitely found a better balance and i was balancing going to the gym very regularly i'd say like five days a week i was aiming for with two rest days balancing that between eating much healthier and that kind of got healthier and healthier 
as the year went on last year and there was a point where I went vegan but because of the amount like exercising the five days a week that did not work for me so I quickly after a month I think switched back to veggie it was also very difficult because I was traveling as well so then I met Ryan and we go to the gym together at first we'd go to our separate gyms which were like across the road from each other and then we would sometimes go to each other's gyms and so it got into a really nice coupley routine and ryan is also vegan and loves his food which was definitely an adjustment for me to begin with because food was still very like i'll take it or leave it i just make whatever whatever's quick whatever's easy because i don't like cooking whereas now we could spend so much time cooking together because it's more of a thing i still don't enjoy doing it on my own so yeah 20 19 i feel like we found a really good groove together and me and my friends would also go to the gym together and it's just really nice i feel like i have a group of people around me that enjoy being very active even if it's in different ways so for example lauren loves walking my friend brooke loves like weightlifting. like she's i watch the things she does and i'm like how are you doing this me and ryan kind of like doing different things in the gym so we go together but not doing the same things so i feel like i've got a good motivational group of people around me but that aren't pushers like we're all just like let's go for a nice walk and then there's a pub lunch at the end of it it becomes a bit more social but also very much integrates into your lifestyle as opposed to being a chore and i think that's so important in terms of having a healthier lifestyle i also feel like i should caveat that none of this that I was doing was particularly to lose weight. I actually started in 2018 because I just wanted to be a bit more healthy and feel a bit better about myself because I knew that cardio was something that I wasn't really doing because I really wasn't going anywhere ever at all. Working from home, I was so aware of how my lifestyle had changed and I wanted to kind of get back into being fitter for my like shopping to not like hurt when I was like lugging it around. Um, just to make my life a little bit easier, I just wanted to be a bit more fit i wanted to be able to run for a train without feeling like i was going to die so it was just kind of started off being like that and then things were a bit rocky and i kind of got into doing it as like i found it was, was stress relieving and that massively helped me and i think that was what really started to make it quite routine because i was in a really awful toxic relationship where it was routinely bad so i was routinely going to the gym to like work out my stress and it helped me to mentally process i find a lot of my problem solving is done on a treadmill like if i have a problem if i want to come up with a creative idea one of the best ideas i've ever had which i don't think you'll see for a really long time but that came from being on a treadmill and there have been so many wonderful video ideas and creative ideas and birthday plans and stuff like that that have come to me when i'm on a treadmill and april was when i feel like i started to really feel a difference and i started to feel really really great and no one else really noticed so i didn't really think anything of it and i just carried on just loving life my gym life and then it got to like september 2018 and i'd go to events and everyone would be like you look so different have you lost weight and i'd just be like i i don't know i didn't know because i don't have scales i'm not the kind of person that should have scales so yeah it wasn't a weight loss thing it was a lifestyle thing I, I wanted that to be my lifestyle i wanted to be one of those people that went to the gym and feels really good about themselves and like i don't know i just had this vision in my head of the kind of person that i wanted to be and i wanted to be a person that went to the gym i feel like james clear talks about this in his book it's called atomic habits you like visualize yourself as a person who does something you're more likely to actually go and do something so i feel like when i was losing weight it was very very slow to begin with i think my body just looked a little bit less bloated and that made me feel amazing <laughs> that in itself i would have taken that <laughs> and just been like yeah 100 i feel less bloaty fab because i always used to eat the saltiest foods and i'd overeat all the time and so much sugar and so much like just so much food basically but i felt great to begin with and then i went to an event and someone mentioned they were like your chest looks really different have you lost weight and i was like uh, I don't know. I'd not even thought about it. I'd not even noticed it. And then from there, I remember my face just kind of looked the same up until it got to a point where I was watching vlogs back and it just looked very different. And I couldn't really put my finger on what that difference was because obviously it's such a slow progression and I make videos so often that it's really hard to see change. To me, it feels like from like 2018 to now, it's been such a slow progression because it has been more of a lifestyle change than a program or a, i want to lose weight it was just it's just me living my life and really enjoying exercising but also enjoying my food and socializing and it all just like 
comes together really really beautifully but yeah I feel like it was a really long progression and more recently I feel like I've also seen changes my routine has obviously been so different this year because I've been at home so much so the start of the year was just kind of my normal routine a little bit normal I think I was quite poorly at the beginning of the year so I definitely didn't like exercise as much and I was really excited after January and all my travels and like I had a little bit of time off just to get back into my groove and then lockdown happened and I was like wow I can't go to the gym this is so different like I'm not socializing as much like especially to begin with it was like an hour of exercise outdoors a day and I was thinking well that's nowhere near as much activity as I'm normally doing. So I'm normally rushing around for work and I'm normally going to the gym and that's like half an hour, but that's very intense, like incline walking. And I was like, uh, where is the nearest hill? Like what is going, how do I do the same thing, but not at the gym? And it got to the point where I was like, maybe I just don't need to try and replicate my gym workout. Maybe I should try something new. And so once again, I made my activity part of my lifestyle. Ryan and I would go for really nice walks together and I just kind of track whether it was a 5K. Like I said, I, I love tracking things. So over the past two years when I've been doing my treadmill stuff and all of my stuff at the gym, I have been tracking like, how many kilometers I can do in how much time and stuff like that and I know how long it should take me to do x amount and I'd always try and do it a little bit quicker or I don't know make things a bit harder for myself like really try and work out a certain muscle group whilst I was doing those walks and then I also started introducing like 5k walks which I think what I'd normally do on the treadmill would be around 2.5 but it was on an incline so I decided to kind of aim for a 5k and just get used to walking that much and I was like maybe at some point I'll end up just like running a bit of it and I've just realized my run is a 5k run but I like run the first half and then walk the second half because not that fit yet. I have actually found that in doing the map map workouts more regularly I have come to start enjoying them a little bit more. I definitely think that the addition of my skipping rope def like helped so so much. Stop picking me! It helped so much because it's something that I really really enjoy. Again it's cardio. I think I always enjoy cardio a little bit more than weightlifting so much but I really enjoy the resistance band workouts. I like doing workouts that are more agility based because I think they help my coordination and my overall body. Like it's more of a full body than targeting a specific area. But I do obviously see the value in everything together. And I think that is what I've learned the most in lockdown is the importance of variety and keeping your exercise really varied. And I don't stick to any kind of schedule really now. I'm not saying like, oh, Tuesdays I run or like three days a week I do like this specifically like if I wake up and I'm like oh I was gonna run today but actually I want to walk like I will do that if I wanted to walk like every day of the week and not do any mat workouts the kind of schedule I've given you is so rough and I some weeks will just be like walking some weeks I'll just run with no mat workouts some days I'll be doing mat workouts but I won't do the full shebang of cardio it all depends on the situation the weather how i'm feeling in myself and i think that variation and diversity in my workouts has been so important even with the mat workouts i don't do the same thing every time there are moves i love and i do more as fun because i enjoy them but i do really try and switch up my workouts every time so that i'm kind of working out slightly differently and i'm not just doing the same thing which when I was going to the gym, I was doing my same cardio every single day and it was very easy and very safe and I just kind of knew the drill with it. So I understand it, like my body does look very, very different to even like this time last summer, even though I haven't lost weight, it just looks different. And I think it's because it's toned differently over the past few months because I've been working out very differently. Oh, another very important thing that I would like to talk about is my eating schedule has actually increased. So everyone at the moment is asking me like, what diet are you on? What, what are you doing? What's your weight loss secret? And I'm like, I'm eating more and I actually think I'm working out less. And there are so many PTs that I know kind of talk about that. They're like, actually, no, you can eat more. And I've always thought like, surely not like surely not but actually i don't think to begin with i haven't really touched on diet this whole chat really like very vaguely through my work because things are crazy sometimes we're like on flights off flights things are very very busy and sometimes you just go through weeks where it's like the week of hell and we're obviously never going to show you the week of hell because it's not entertaining and we're not fun but you will go through times where you are so busy and i think we all get to this point in like our office jobs or our careers in general where you will have weeks where you're just like it's five o'clock and I haven't had lunch. Like what, what is going on today? And it's not something that you purposely do, but it is definitely something that comes into like a very intense work environment or an intense work ethic, I would say in my situation because I'm a perfectionist and it really doesn't 
bode well for me like i will get so into something that i will just forget to eat that could be work or that to be fair that could be a saturday if i'm sat playing the sims i could forget to eat but i would say that over the last year there have been more skipped meals than ever like now i actually track it i use clue the period tracker app some of you might know that i've had really irregular periods over the past couple of years but i've actually been tracking when i skip like a lunch and it's been really good as a way of like making sure that i am more conscious of it lockdown in general though has been much better because there is more time so this is something that i'm definitely going to be bringing with me as we come out of lockdown and back into like normal life is the importance of me having a more routine eating schedule because i'm actually seeing how beneficial it is i don't think i was ever under eating but i think my eating schedule was very messed up and your body likes regular food like your body likes that so i think that's played a really important part during my lockdown life is actually i've been eating more regularly and my workouts have obviously been so much more varied so i think those two things basically throughout lockdown have resulted in me just feeling really great and really feeling like healthier than ever i think it'll be interesting to see how things work out long term because obviously when you make changes like this they don't show straight away so i'm really interested to see how things develop in my lifestyle from here how my exercise routine develops basically i feel like it's just really important to hit home that you don't have to have like a really strenuous exercise routine or have a specific diet you can be eating a really good amount and exercising and you can look great i'm not here to promote a weight loss program like i am just literally here saying like exercise should be your lifestyle like you should enjoy it you should enjoy your food and i think long-term changes make the most sustainable impact and i think that's why i've seen such positive changes to my body over the past two years because bear in mind two years is such a long time so many people are like i'm gonna do this in six weeks like i really i understand like pt is doing six week transformations but actually i don't think they're a healthy thing to promote and i say this and i love my pt friends and i love what they do i love what they've taught me over the years i have so much respect for them but i do think that tiny part of that culture is not something that i personally agree with i am open to other people explaining like the positives of it i it, there might just be something i'm overlooking but i do think we see a lot of like small trans like small period of time transformations and i don't think it's the healthiest thing to promote i've changed so much in the past two years and it's down to really really sustainable lifestyle changes for anyone that's wondering because i know i have talked about my irregular periods in this video and in previous videos vlogmas so i had to have tests about it which were all fine but that is now currently not an issue and i do think that that slower pace of lifestyle less stress less rushing around um has been so so good for me and i also think those are very important factors to take into how my body looks at the moment as well because your stress and your happiness affect your body and it also affects how you see your body as well i think the way we see ourselves and the way we look is definitely a representation of our whole lifestyle and not one element so it's not just your diet and it's not just your fitness there's a whole holistic view that you have to take on health and fitness when someone dms me and says what's your weight loss secret or can you talk about your weight loss even like for me to respond to them personally would take me so long to write all of this out so i'm so sorry if you dm me and i send you a link to this video i hope you've made yourself a cup of tea i might have to pre-warn people it's not a simple answer even making like the smallest changes to your routine make long-term impacts in the long run but that you don't see immediately it's like if you start practicing an instrument for an hour every day you're not going to suddenly be like fantastic overnight but you know two years down the line you could be amazing and i think that we need to play a longer game with our health and kind of step, take a step back and look at the bigger picture and look at the why we're doing it rather than things being like a six week shred if that makes sense the irony is not lost on me that i am making workout videos but also within this workout video saying that i feel uncomfortable it's not so much pe people commenting on my body in terms of like oh you're looking really healthy or whatever is fab but i feel very uncomfortable with the can you tell me how to lose weight comments because i think there's certain comments that i feel like are more of a health they come from more of a healthy place like i would love to know what your workout routine is but basically there are a lot of comments that are people asking me to tell them how to lose weight and it's something that i don't feel comfortable with that's not what i do in any way shape or form and that is mainly 
what I wanted to talk about today. That is not ever something that I'm going to give you. I think once you get to a certain point with health and fitness, it becomes less about the weight element and it just becomes more about how you feel in yourself and how much it makes you feel great and the endorphins are real and don't let people tell you that they are not real because they are 100 real i always feel absolutely fab after a walk or run or anything so fab even if i want to like give up in the first five minutes you've got to push through so that is my long rambly chat getting some things off my chest just kind of like trying to give you guys some insight into how i feel in myself now but how i have felt in myself in the past and where i think i may not have always been so healthy because i don't necessarily think that my routine over the years has always been perfect and that's why i generally up until very recently have kind of stepped away from talking about fitness as much as people wanted that content so much it's why i've been very very reserved with talking about it because i was so aware that it wasn't necessarily a routine that i felt was truly healthy i mean even now i don't think anyone's routine is perfect and we could argue that this is too much of this and that's too much of that but i think my routine is much more well-rounded now and i'm excited to see how things change for me going forward i might gain a bit of weight i might bulk up i might stay the same i don't really know what's going to happen and who does but all i know is that i'm really enjoying doing what i'm doing right now and i'm really enjoying really taking care of my body it does so much for me and it feels so good to just really be taking care of her <laughs> for the first time in what feels like a very very long time so at the end of the day i don't want to be anyone's thin inspiration that's not why i do these workout videos and that's not what i'm here for for those of you who are bored of your current like fitness routine and just want some extra ideas this is for you but yeah i'm not here to be anyone's like inspiration for weight loss that's not why i do this i want to be someone's inspiration for like looking after yourself and like caring for yourself in the most wonderful way but yeah i'm so sorry to those of you who dm me asking for like weight loss plans or how to lose weight because that's not what I'm here for and I don't think that's what I'm ever going to be here for but yeah thank you so much for watching how do you sign off a video that's potentially an hour long I don't even know I hope you guys are all doing really really well and I will see you guys again very very soon bye